Hello, my name is B. Deepak. I am a chartered accountant. I would like to ask a question to you, sir, regarding the the erstwhile Taliban regime issued a fatwa for the destruction of Bami and Buddhas, terming it as un-Islamic. I would like to know whether it is really un-Islamic and if it is one of the footsteps which the Satan has laid and uh, the Muslims should be aware of. Brother asked me the question, the same question was asked to me in Surat when I was giving a lecture talk in Surat. Just a couple of days after this issue, it was very hot in the oven. The Taliban that were destroying rather at that time the statue of Buddha Bamiyan. The brother asked me the question that is it Islamic, etc. And the same question asked by a non-Muslim to me in Surat, that is it right or is it wrong? At that time yet there were conflicting views whether they were destroying or not. So again I said at that time that I don't know whether they destroyed or not, but today we know there are confirmed news that they have destroyed it, whether right or wrong. What I can say, what I can say, that I being a student of comparative religion, whether right or wrong, I'll tell afterwards, what I can tell that surely the Taliban's, if they destroyed the statue of Buddha, what they were doing is actually they were educating the Buddhists. I am a student of comparative religion. I have read the Buddhist scriptures. I have read Dhammapad. I have read the scriptures. No way in any of the Buddhist scriptures did Buddha ever say make a statue of myself. Buddha never said that the Buddha should do idol worship. It is a later innovation. So what I could say as a student of comparative religion, whether right or wrong will come afterwards, what they were doing is surely they were educating the Buddhists. And in none of the Buddhist scripture is it mentioned that they should make a statue. Coming to the question. And this question was asked to me even by the press when I was in Bangalore. That just because Islam feels idol worship is not allowed, there are other religions, there's even Christianity. If you read the Old Testament, it's mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 5, verse number 7 and 9, as well as the book of Exodus, chapter number 20, verse number 3 to 5. It says, Thou shalt have no other image besides me. Thou shalt not make any graven image of me, of any likeness of anything in the heaven above, in the earth beneath, or in the water above the earth. Thou shalt not bow down to them, nor serve them, for I, thy God, thy Lord, is a jealous God. So even according to Christianity, according to Judaism, making images of anyone who you say is God is prohibited. Same it is prohibited in Islam. So when I gave this reply that they were educating the Buddhists, so what they said, that but didn't these Talibans, didn't they cause grief to millions of Buddhists? I said yes. So does Islam allow anyone to cause grief to millions of human beings? I asked the journalist a question. That what if suppose the Indian government catches a haul of drugs, cocaine, brown sugar, worth 10 crore rupees. Worth about 2 million dollars, they catch a haul. Drugs. What will the Indian government do? So the journalist told me the Indian government will burn the drugs. I said, good. I said, do you know, for millions of human beings in the world, drug is God for them? So will you agree with the Indian government or go against the government that they're destroying the God of millions of drug addicts? Because the Indian government feels that the drug will cause loss to the body, what they're doing is right, even though it's causing grief to millions of drug addicts. But if they feel it is wrong, they're burning. You cannot go and tell the Indian government that why are you burning the drugs? A drug addict will feel bad. So similarly, Afghanistan is their government. It is their property. See, the statue is their property. If they come and do something in any other country, then you can object. They are doing in their country, it is their property. If they like it, they'll keep it. If they want to destroy it, they'll destroy it. Who are we to object? We can't object. And furthermore, if you analyze that people who talk, there was a person who said that Indian government is so tolerant. Do you know in Bombay, when you come out of the domestic airport, of the Santa Cruz airport, there was a big statue of Mahavi, of Mahavi, just outside the hotel Jal, and it was unclothed, so the people took objection, and then they built a wall in front of the private parts. Later on, after a few months, they removed the statue. Now, those same people who objected to the statue being there, those same people today are condemning Afghanistan. Why? The same people who objected to the statue being on the road. See, and do you know there are more Jains in India than Buddhists in Afghanistan? 
So when the government of Bombay could remove the statue which is believed to be God or believed to be the Tirthankas of the Jains and there are more Jains living in India than Buddhists live in Afghanistan, at that time no one objected. And now when the Afghanistan government is doing your objecting, why the double policies? You know why? Because of World Bank. <laughs> Won't the Jain feel bad? So if the Jain believes in keeping a statue of Mahavir, who's a Tritanka, why are you objecting? At that time, everyone objected. The statue should be removed. Statue should be removed. And the same people who objected were condemning that why did you destroy the Mami and Buddha statue? Double policies. Therefore, we as logical people should have a single policy. We should not be two-faced jammed in where we keep on changing the rules. So what I feel that it is their property. Suppose, suppose a non-Muslim, he buys a house. In the house, there is a carving of Kaaba. Suppose, if there is there. If that non-Muslim does not like Kaaba and he defaces the Kaaba, how can I object? If someone, you know, and believe me, if, if any Muslim, if any Muslim, if he makes a statue of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and if you destroy the statue, even if the full Muslim world is against you, I, Dr. Zakir Naik, will support you. Because making a statue of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is prohibited. If any Muslim lunatic, makes the statue of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and he worships it. And if you, being a non-Muslim, knowing knowledge of Islam, if you go and destroy the statue, even if the full Muslim world is against you, I, Dr. Zakir Naik, will support you.